Hey guys, welcome back to another, like, one of these kind of, uh, weird, like, review kind of videos where, um, like, last time I usually was doing this for Prime, but now we actually have, <laughs> as you can see, a rare bar indeed. Because this bar in particular is actually Mr. Beast's, uh, Feastable bar, but as you can see, it's, like, the old, like, kind of flavor. It's, like, well, Feastables before they rebranded and new flavors. Even, like, it even has these nuts on it as well. Isn't that so cool? <laughs> so... What I'm literally going to do real quick, like, I even have a plate for this just to make sure I don't, um, spill the chocolate all over the place. And yes, I know, people are hearing that and they're like, oh no, you're not going to actually open it, are you? Yes, I am. Because, <laughs> like, everybody's going to be like, no, it's, it's rare, don't open it! This is going to be painful to, for, for the collectors out there, but sure, look at it. Okay, this might take a while. Because I, I have to do this at such an awkward angle. To, oh, there we go. There's the first tear. Let's get a little, uh, a bit of a sniff, just... Okay, yeah. It's, um, let's see. So it's milk chocolate with peanut butter. Honestly, kind of nearly smells like dark chocolate already, but, like, it, I don't... I, I, as it says on the thing, it's not meant to be. Yes, I know, collectors are crying right there. They're like, no! The wrapper! What are you doing? And I'm like, I don't care. <laughs> so as it shows in the front... Oh, actually, there's... Oh, I didn't even notice that. So on the very bottom, it's probably hard to see, but it says devour. I wonder if the rest of the bar has it. Oh, so at the top it says share. Hold on, actually, wait, how do I... See, it says share. So I think I'm going to just break that little bit at the top, and then I'm going to eat it and just see what it's like. So let's see the click. Ooh, okay, not clean, but we work with it. Again, it, I swear it smells like dark chocolate, and you don't really see the peanut butter inside. It's very thin. I know it's hard to see with this webcam. But on the front, like, of the packaging here, it makes it look a bit bigger. And honestly, the bar itself is actually, like, a lot thinner than what I thought it was. And in case you're wondering, yes, I did get this bar at basically a scalped price because I knew it was going to be rare anyway. Four euro. Four euro for this bar. And I bet it's going to be shit now just because I've said all that. You know what? As someone who doesn't really like peanut butter bars, that's actually decent. I, like, I'm trying to think, what is it about this bar that's nice? I think it's not, like, overly peanut buttery, but you can still taste the peanut butter in it. I think that's why I personally like this bar. Um, Would I buy this again? No. Because it's overpriced. But will I take another snap? Yes. <laughs> Just, I will. Yeah, honestly, pretty good. I think it's also because I'm not overhyping it for myself as well. And I'm going crazy and be like, Hello guys, welcome back to another video. And today we'll be trying the Mr. Beast bar. Sorry. And yeah, just see like how thin the chocolate is as well compared to the peanut butter. But it is nice though. Like I will say, it is decent. By the way, Mr. Beast, um, if you want me, if you want a paycheck, um, send it to you just, um, I'll, I'll send it to you on Twitter or X. See, I'm just doing a little sucking. But yeah, honestly, no cap for real, for real. That was actually pretty good. Thanks for watching.